My dear students, welcome to week four of our Individuals and Societies uh, course. This week is going to be from the 12th of November till the 16th of November. Now you will find that each week I'm putting it outside so it, may, it makes it, I make it easier for you to access the week. And after we finish it, I put it inside unit two. I'll show you quickly. Um, here you will find the unit page. You will find um, unit two, week three, unit two, week two, unit two, week one. So in this week, we have three classes. The first class is going to be about uh, what are natural hazards. In this day, you're going to recognize natural hazards. Uh, the word wall is going to contain earthquake, tsunami, hurricane, volcano, wildfires, and hazards. You will watch a video about natural disasters and hazards, and you will have an interactive activity uh, that is related to that topic. Then you're going to watch a video that talks about Earth, and then we have we will have another interactive activity where where you uh, will um, be divided into four groups. Each group will have uh, one topic that is part of this chapter. Group one is going to uh, talk about tsunami. Group two is going to talk about earthquake. Group three is going to talk about volcano. Group four is going to talk about a hurricane. Now in this uh, color symbol image interactive activity, you're going to choose a color, a symbol, and an image that you feel represents, best represents the topic that you were chosen for. Now I prepared um, a link where you can find symbols. It will help you generate symbols. That's gonna help you in this activity. Of course, you will have a further practice to give you more information about uh, what are natural hazards. For the challenging question, you are going to have a link where you can challenge yourself in the information that you took for this day. You have, of course, a self-assessment and for what to do tomorrow, I chose to give you a bonus mark if you search for cyclones and you find if you find out what is the difference between a cyclone and a tsunami write the answer on a paper and bring it to school the next day for lesson two you're going to recognize how earth is structured in the word wall we have layers inner core outer core mental crust and structure you'll watch a tutorial video that was going to tell you about um, how earth is structured. So let me give me a second. Mm -hmm. And after that, you will have an interactive activity that is related to that. Then you will have a, a, a video about plate tectonics and you will have an interactive activity that is about uh, plate tectonics. You will have a further practice. And for the challenging question, you will have a link that's going to give you or ask you uh, about plate tectonics, about the movement of plate tectonics. You'll have assessment and assessment. And for what to do tomorrow, I want you to find out on which tectonic plate Jordan is located. Now for lesson three, you're going to recognize what are plate tectonics and we're going to discuss the movement of plate tectonics. For the word wall, we have divergent, convergent, boundaries, plate tectonics, transform, collide, and subduct. You will watch a video about what are tectonic plates and you will have a, an activity related to that. Then you will watch a video about the movement of plate tectonics, how they move and you will uh, have um, an interactive activity about subduction, lateral sliding, spreading. You'll have further practice if you want to learn more about plate tectonics, and you will have bonus marks if you create a model of the different plate boundaries and bring it to school. Now you can use your foam, you can use sponges, you can use uh, Play-Doh. There are a lot of models online that you can search and find uh, the most suitable.
for you to implement. You will have a self-assessment and for what to do tomorrow, you're going to, uh, uh, I want you to answer the following question. Why do you think it's important to classify earthquakes according to their strengths? Now, um, you know that when an earthquake happens, they give it a number. Let's say the strength is five, the strength is seven, the strength is, the strength is three. So why do they do that? And why do you think it's important to classify earthquakes again, uh, according to their strengths? I can't wait to uh, begin this week with you guys. Um, all the love and respect.